Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to maybe the best queen sacrifice of the year 2020. I'm saying maybe because I already uploaded one of the videos where Brazilian Grandmaster Supi uh, sacrificed his queen against Magnus Carlsen and Magnus just said, whoa, and he resigned. So uh, this is another beautiful queen sacrifice. This time it was played by the super engine. So we have Komodo and we have Scorpio. The game was played in March. So a couple of months ago during the computer chess championship uh, season 13. And this was during the bullet test of the, of the engine. So one minute and one second incrementations. Uh, we have a couple of inaccuracies, but this is why this game was actually possible. Uh, still very beautiful, very interesting game with um, a lot of interesting ideas, sacrifices, and uh, this game is just incredible. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. So we have e4, e5. Bishop c4, so bishop's opening, and now bishop c5, boy variation. Now, Paolo Boy was the Italian grandmaster from 16th century, so this variation is known at least, you know, for a couple of hundred of years. We have knight f3, now invitation for the, uh, for the Italian game, knight c3, and of course after c3, let's say knight f3, and now white can play d4 or d3. Uh, however, we have d6. Uh, and here c3 so definitely d4 is coming and we have couple of games uh, i mean a uh, couple of hundred of games where knight f6 is uh, is played so this is the most popular and of course we're gonna have uh, one of the variations of italian game with the d4 uh, e takes on d4 c takes on d4 uh, bishop b6 and um, a lot of pressure for example on the d4 so this is of course well known uh, also knight f6 was possible and after let's say d3 uh, just castle castle a very slow uh, very solid variation how However, we have queen e7, and now queen e7, I believe, was actually a ranch, so this was probably the sideline from the book, uh, because... Uh engines would choose uh, very very solid variations but sometimes you know um, the organizer have to choose some sidelines which are very very attractive and gives some very sharp opportunities so this is one of them and now we have only three games in the database where the castle was played uh, white actually won two of the games we had the one draw however uh, here komodo goes for d4 uh, so now if e takes on d4, c takes on d4 and queen e4, that would be the idea of bringing the queen to e7 and um, the other ideas doesn't just, just make any sense. Uh, so queen e4, the problem is that after king f1, uh, the bishop is still under attack and cannot come with the tempo. Okay, so let's say bishop b6 and now we have bishop f7, winning more material, the king is still in the center, have to go to d8, very uncomfortable and of course cannot be taken because of this beautiful fork. So uh, this is why this, you know, uh, queen e7 is very, very dubious. I believe uh, that was just a wrench. So in, in the game, uh, Scorpio actually played bishop b6, and now we have knight g5, targeting the, the f7. So we have knight h6, now defending, and now, of course, castle. Uh, we have knight c6, developing. All of this game is about developing develop the pieces very very important uh, actually very interesting that we have uh, two games in the database uh, and one of the game was won by black and one was actually uh, draw so it's it's actually this position this particular position uh, was played in the in the past uh, but we know the two variation with the bishop e3 so of course this is one of the variation which is possible uh, and also d5 uh, d5 kicking the knight so d5 was draw, bishop e3 was won by black. Bishop e3 is really not that great, um, and there is some reason for that. Knight f3 is the recommended by the engine, but of course uh, nobody actually goes back, and the bishop can come to g4, pin that knight, so it doesn't make any sense for the variation. Um, and finally, bishop e3, I will show you one of the variations why this is not that great idea. First of all, this bishop uh, defends already the, the knight, so it doesn't support the center. That is 
the big difference. So here Komodo played the novelty and we have a4. Uh, now we have e takes on d4. We have a5 instead of taking because keep in mind uh, that there is a lot of pressure on d4. So now uh, the black pieces attacking you have two extra attackers, only one defender and the queen. That's not enough. This is why we have a5 sacrificing yet another pawn. Now uh, what to do? If you want to keep the bishop and don't lose the tempo on this on this diagonal there is the huge problem because you're gonna lose that bishop the bishop gonna be trapped if you take with the knight you also gonna lose two pieces for the rook so this also doesn't work because we have this beautiful fork so that's another problem this is why we had in the game bishop a5 the only move uh, and now c takes on d4 and bishop b6 so black actually had to lose the tempo to win the pawn and now what just happened white has actually beautiful rook and this rook is ready to go as paul morphy said help your pieces your pieces gonna help you now what is the idea for the rook you will see in couple of moves uh now what to play knight f3 again the, the engine says okay knight f3 should be okay but as i said bishop g4 is problematic and you're gonna lose that pawn you cannot push now because the knight of course gonna jump to e5 you are in the trouble as your knight is pinned so that's not the greatest idea so probably knight c3 and of course after bishop f3 uh, queen f3 bishop d4 you're gonna lose this pawn so this way or another you're gonna lose the pawn so doesn't matter uh, if you actually defend it with the, with the knight and as i said with the bishop on e3 also bishop d4 and if you take the bishop you're gonna lose this this knight and you move this knight for the reason for attacking reason because you want to uh, set up some attack here so probably knight f7 knight f7 now bishop d4 and after exchanging everything that would be the position uh black can simply castle and black is totally fine here uh and have one extra pawn and this pawn cannot be taken because if the pawn is taken then we're gonna have c5 with the attack on the queen and the rook gonna be lost so that is the problem this is why komodo goes for knight c3 that means and uh, sacrifice not only the a pawn but also the d pawn a uh, four of course for the initiative so like paul morphy we have bishop d4 uh, and now knight d5 with tempo so this knight make the two moves to the center uh, in in the very very fast fashion black won the pawn but now the queen is under attack this is why this queen is seven variation is a very very shaky one and look at this the pawn is still defended by the knight the knight is defended so the queen doesn't have many moves uh actually only d8 and now rook a3 so now the secret of the rook and sacrifice on the a file is revealed the rook can now uh join the attack on the position of the king this way or this way or maybe not this way because the the the, the bishop is there uh, however definitely a very very strong idea and here actually this bishop should be developed as fast as possible so here was the last chance for scorpio to develop bishop g4 now f3 cannot be played because of the pin so the queen would have to move block the bishop or play something like queen c2 but if queen c2 is played then we would have knight e5 now um with some attacks on the bishop bishop a2 and now for example ca castle h3 and now the bishop did what what was his job now just retreat uh, and the position of the king is uh, quite a solid and it's very difficult actually to to find the continuation for white it's still very sharp everything can happen uh, however the wars you know um, black would have you know just behind uh, however we have the castle immediately uh, and now white first go for rook g3 so taking under control g4 the bishop cannot uh, go to g4 and uh, now but what to play as black look at this maybe first um, bring the bishop to the game otherwise this rook doesn't play the bishop doesn't play but where where bishop e6 is losing because after knight e6 f takes on e6 we're gonna have boom bishop h6 uh winning the the knight yes there are some moves like e takes on d5 but after bishop d5 with check what you're gonna do king h8 is losing immediately because boom queen d4 very beautiful queen sacrifice and after knight d4 we would have a checkmate so uh 
king h8 was not even possible and if the rook f7 then the rook can be taken bring the queen to the attack bring the rook and then continue the attack from from these squares around the king you have to calculate there is them the couple of winning ways here or of course boom sacrifice the queen again because why not uh knight d4 and now rook g7 the rook of course is is pinned uh so the king h8 and after rook f7 uh you are in the troubles bishop gonna come to g7 uh and then this cover check here with the attack on the queen not much can be done uh maybe you can win this bishop but still bishop g7 uh attack on the queen c takes on d5 no more checks but then simply exchange everything and at the end bishop takes the knight and of course with the extra bishop uh, this is easy win for white so um, that's one of the options bishop e6 just doesn't work uh, in this uh, variation if you try to bring the bishop for example to d7 or maybe to this diagonal why not it looks very very attractive the problem is it's too slow knight f3 attacking the bishop uh, attacking the the knight uh, and of course the knight cannot be supported because the pawn is pinned so black gonna lose the, the piece also in this variation finally bishop f6 which looks the the most promising uh, here white actually can activate another rook so play f4 and after let's say bishop g5 rook g5 king h8 just moving from uh from these pins there are a couple of variations here uh but then f5 f6 is coming so probably f6 uh, rook h5 uh, let's say knight f7 because the bishop can actually uh get that knight and destroy the, the position of the king uh but then rook f4 bring another rook and you know attack on the h5 this would be completely brutal so this is why we have king h8 immediately uh, and now komodo continue with queen h5 uh, we have bishop e6 trying to um, exchange couple of pieces also bringing extra defender to f7 and now instead of taking that bishop which is pretty much attractive however not that attractive as boom knight h7 so another sacrifice white already sacrificed one pawn second pawn and now the knight okay third sacrifice of komodo so uh we have king h7 then the, the rook is under attack there are no good moves here no counterplay so we have king h7 and now bishop d3 bishop d3 retreat with the bishop but now e5 is coming uh, however white also have to calculate uh when to bring this this pawn to the game now how to continue so what is the problem first of all if you try to block the pawn because it's coming and also maybe attacking this dangerous bishop there is a tactic boom rook g7 here is the problem a uh, king g7 queen h6 and you are in trouble so king g8 is the only way and now you're gonna get checked and then the queen has to be sacrificed actually exchange for the knight and the problem is even you take a uh, knight d3 then you're gonna lose this bishop so at the end of the day it looks like black actually can fight with the rooks and the bishop against the queen and the rook however it's not that easy first of all these rooks are completely not developed second of all uh, white already have a very very strong attack on the position of the king and so black have to think about how to defend that so it's probably uh very very unlikely that black gonna actually stand that uh, bishop e5 this is another idea here uh, still keeping the bishop you know controlling g7 uh, but still rook g7 is the strongest move if the king takes then not the queen because now the the bishop actually controls f6 but rather bishop h6 and then after king g8 f4 and bring the rook to the game uh, and then win the game this way so for example bishop d4 with tempo king h1 now bishop d5 eliminate this dangerous terrorist knight on the on the d5 this knight was so horrible uh, but it's not enough because simply rook f3 and that's gonna be some checkmate here bishop g7 then bishop g7 king h7 rook g3 is coming anyway and the king can escape but not too far 
e takes on d5 now and if the king tries to escape rook e3 and at the end bishop f5 and this gonna be the checkmate so another uh, beautiful checkmate bishop g7 you would ask what would happen um, e5 with check uh, and then let's say after f5 making some escaping square maybe for the uh, for the king uh, e takes on f6 with check king g8 only now and, and then after f takes on g7 we have even couple of very dangerous attacks here uh, with these two bishops uh, it's very difficult to to survive let's say rook f7 queen h6 rook g7 now queen e6 this bishop is hanging so rook f7 queen um, g6 and knight f6 is coming and um, yeah king f8 now bishop h6 is coming and 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 so on so very difficult actually to do um, anything uh, the king gonna gonna collapse there is actually checkmate in seven force checkmate so so all of this doesn't work this is why we have rook h8 uh, and this is very sneaky idea actually played by scorpio because now uh of course rook g7 doesn't work simply king g7 and the knight is um defended so no problem here so what else can be played would you play e5 immediately actually e5 is drawing actually white gonna get into the troubles look at this e5 and actually white have to fight for a draw because after king g8 and let's say bishop h6 what is your next move because black doesn't need to play rook h6 if you calculate okay rook h6 yes you are winning because queen h6 um, and let's say g6 bishop g6 you are in troubles there, there are some mating ideas here uh with the with the queen g7 you cannot do much about that if you bring them the queen you're gonna get checkmated on h7 so this way or another f takes on g6 also doesn't work rook g6 and of course you're gonna get rolled here king f8 and that's gonna be uh the checkmate so this would not work however after bishop h6 the thing is uh black actually have much stronger move bishop e5 defending g7 and now believe me or not white have only one way to draw only to draw a white have to actually sacrifice the queen on the on the e5 all other moves are losing so after knight e5 uh, then rook g7 this is the only way to the draw and after king f8 then rook h7 deliver a check and of course this knight is a very nasty knight controlling e7 if the king goes to the the e8 black would lose of course at uh, the rook and then and the queen uh, however the king uh, can go to g8 and that would be threefold repetition okay so that would be the way uh, only way actually to to win by white there is only one way is boom bishop g5 and now the queen is under attack and the problem is that f6 doesn't work because now we're gonna have bishop h6 and now g takes on h6 we're gonna have a checkmate so not this way king g8 also doesn't work because now of course rook g7 king f8 uh, rook h7 and yeah there is also the king has nowhere to go so again we're gonna have uh the checkmate so that's the that's the way after bishop g5 f6 doesn't work uh g6 g6 is a little bit more sneaky but still doesn't work a queen h6 would be the problematic move it's still better for white but it's not the best this is quite tricky because after queen h6 king g8 the queen actually is trapped so uh queen h8 bishop h8 and now after bishop d8 this is the position we would have maybe white can take one more pawn and uh, white uh, is up the exchange so rook uh, for the bishop and this should be winning for white but of course it's still a lot to play but the problem is that white have much stronger continuation than taking the knight because now white can play e5 and now e5 actually pins the pawn uh, and so so any moves like this one for example is losing the queen and the queen the white queen cannot be taken and also if the king moves to the to the g file there is another problem this queen can be taken but this queen not because the pawn is still pinned so this position is just incredible 
so this is why uh, actually Scorpio play Queen C8 avoiding that but now we have e5 and again e5 in this position is the strongest move so we have king g8 and now bishop h6 uh, we also have bishop e5 now defending the g7 so the rook and the, and the bishop cannot uh, do anything here however there is one strong move in this position and i would like you to pause the video and find the winning continuation and uh, just for your information there is only one winning winning continuation for white while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So uh, probably if you remember the, the title of the video, my um, start of this video, this is one of the best uh, queen sacrifice of 2020, maybe even the best. Look at this. Boom! Queen e5. So Komodo sacrificed two pawns, sacrificed the piece and now sacrificed the queen threatening the checkmate on g7 so the point is that after king f8 um black gonna lose a lot of material so it's not even possible for example queen g7 king e8 because of course uh, the knight also <laughs> still controlling here and after let's say queen h8 king d7 the only move uh, now knight f6 first uh, king e7 now rook g8 now actually uh, winning the queen the queen has nowhere to go uh, of course now d7 is controlled so queen g8 probably but now knight g8 with check uh, and after uh, yeah if the if the king moves then of course the rook gonna be lost so that's the only way queen and the rook up this of course is winning for for white this, so there is no not even the question uh if take the queen this is why in our game we have d takes on e5 and now of course rook g7 we have king f8 and here is the move you have to actually find the maybe more difficult to find is boom rook g8 and the only move is this is double double check so not much can be done here so the rook cannot take the only move is king g8 and now in paul morphy style all the pieces are sacrificed rook is sacrificed the queen is sacrificed the one knight is sacrificed knight and bishop are of course enough to deliver the checkmate this is the checkmate ladies and gentlemen paul morphy reborn now as a komodo i show you already one game where paul morphy show how to play as stockfish now um, paul morphy play as komodo so yeah if you think this game is incredible and you like it like i like then press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you want to see more incredible games on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one